Welcome back to West for Michigan Broncos Dynasty. Guys, we took a big win this last week in a last minute, last second touchdown pass in order to beat our rivals, Eastern Michigan. And that is going to confirm us into the conference championship. I, at least I'm pretty sure if I did the math right. If you guys did not see the end of that game, make sure you check it out. It was actually insane. But we're going to move on here after a 30 to 29 victory. And we should see that we made the conference championship here. But as we move on, we also got recruiting that we need to do. And we do make the MAC championship. It's going to be against Miami of Ohio, the Red Hawks. We have not played them yet this year either. So this should be a good time. And also we, reaching eight games, we basically guaranteed us a bowl game. So that's pretty awesome too. So we're going to have two more games left this year. But on this bye week, we do have some recruiting to do. Now we did not get any more commits. We did get locked out there and uh we did we, we got found some new guys that we really wanted to go after this last week so we got nathan chamura he has been here we got some big schools we're going against and it's not looking too great because we don't have a great sell and we can't get a visit my hope is that we're gonna we're gonna finish this up here and he does not commit before the transfer portal time and then we can bring him in on a visit there pj polito we're in a great spot uh, here though we have a lead and we are gaining the most now we got the double hard sell with the soft sell not the best options but we also have not built up a program all that well yet penn state now is trying to catch up and they are going to make themselves contenders for him pretty soon shane price we are battling against unc here and we're killing it on him we are ahead and we're gaining more uh hard sell and soft sell on him we're doing great here colt mcleod we just found this last week we have moved ourselves up into the number one spot and he has locked into his top eight gem three-star right guard could be huge for us as well as dylan free similar situation moved ourselves up to the number one spot now we have 130 hours remaining and we have some more pieces we got to fill now a little update here i found out this halfback that i've had my board for a while brayden odding is actually a gem after i scouted him an elusive back i love me my elusive backs and this is a hometown guy he's from kalamazoo so eastern's ahead on him but we actually haven't put any effort in on him so we're gonna throw the send the house on him and 90 speed in the mac i'm gonna love this guy that is going to do it for our recruiting this week not many changes we got Braden nodding on here i started scouting some strong safeties as well because we are going to need one of those but hopefully we can get some you know positive gains on some of these guys like polito and chamura especially moving on though we are going to advance week and this will be the conference championship week and i think recruiting is going to be over and we get an update here boudreau goes to Tennessee which is something we expected earlier we actually took all of our all of our hours off on him oh we got an update here we haven't got a recruiting update in a while I'm not really in on Jared Kern so I'm not too worried about this and we have taken over on Colt McLeod he has reached his top five and we are number one by a margin love to see it and recruiting is over so we don't have to worry about that anymore all we have to worry about this week is Miami of Ohio in the MAC conference championship now also looking at bowl projections we are projected to be in the cure bowl against georgia state we're gonna be going down south a little bit okay now i'm looking through these awards as well and it looks like deshaun bustle has actually found his way into the best defensive back in the nation conversation he is ninth so far in the projections and jacob gideon's actually eighth and best center now this is the guy that we might have a chance at getting drafted gus hartwig this guy's a dog by the way uh he's our best chance of getting someone drafted though so hopefully we can get him drafted as he is a senior that would be pretty nice oh best returner we got jamal haley here love to see that is the favorite I definitely love to see that big fan but we are going to go into the conference championship here this is uh this is exciting man now they are the better team slightly especially on the defensive end hopefully we can get something done against them but we are heading into a miami of ohio Miami coming out in the red jerseys. I like those, man. Those are good luck. Ooh, I forgot the conference championship is not at their home stadium. We're in a neutral site right now. The Broncos coming out in the all whites looking ready to go. We are at Ford Field now. I was wondering, those suites look kind of nice. Makes sense. We are at playing at Ford Field today. But before we get going, we are going to get the ball at half. Let's meet the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. At quarterback is Brett Gabbert not too bad but field general but he does have 80 speed so he can move a little bit they got kenny tracy at running back along with jordan brunson and kayon mosey the wide receivers Cade mcdonald javon tracy andre johnson and cameron perry they got some speed in perry but everyone else is pretty slow tight end is gonna be jack colderion tight end is gonna be jack coldy coldy ron 
cold Iran. It's not cold Rion, it's cold Iran. Interesting. And then the offensive line, the left tackle is going to be Reed Holsky. The left guard, John Young. The center, Colby Borders. The right guard is going to be Gavin Roars. And then Will Jadas is going to be the right tackle. Defensively, the left end is going to be Brian Ugwu. The right end, Corey Suttle. The defensive tackle, Kobe Hilton. They have a very good left outside linebacker. Maybe one of the best in the nation here in Matt Salopek. Insane middle linebacker in Ty Wise. Wait, what is happening here? Eli Coppice will be the right outside linebacker. The corners, Jaden Williams, Ryan Strader, TJ Rush, and William Hardrick. Not insane. We should be able to do okay here, but we got to worry about that middle linebacker and an outside linebacker. Now we do have to start off on defense. And this is a big one, man. Peasley with the kickoff. Look at Western Michigan playing at Ford Field, by the way. How about it? Gert Bronson in his first season coaching is in the MAC championship. And here we go. We're going to be blitzing right off the bat here. I feel like this game looks really bright compared to normal. Oh, no. That's not that's not the start we're looking for right there. Maybe it's just the field and the lighting. We're not used to, like, actually having good lighting on the field. Because it just seems right as hell right now and it's a screenplay and we were not ready for it roberson can't bring him down it's gonna be a first down here for the uh the, the screen pass this is not exactly what we were looking for in terms of a start the red hawks coming out looking hot it's gonna be an rpo and he gets a good block on the bubble screen does not go down finally does at the 30. Ooh, i do not like this out of our defense so far First and 10 from the 31. We're going to be using Roberson here. And it's a handoff over the middle. And Roberson able to bring him down for a gain of three. And it's wide open over the middle of the field. Roberson wasn't there, but it does stop him short. It's going to be third and one. We've got to find a way to stop him here. I'm going to be sending the pressure in hopes that they run it and try to get that short yardage there. And they do. And we stop him short. Mason Nelson on the tackle for loss, and we're going to force a field goal. After all those chunk plays, we were able to get a stop. At least the bend don't break mentality is strong here with the Broncos today. 3 0 Miami. Jamal Haley on the return here. Let's see if he can get something going. Doesn't have a whole lot of space. Pushes forward to the 24, and we are going to see the offense here led by Hayden Wolf. And we're going to start off with an inside handoff to Buckley and immediately gets brought down. We could not hold the block long enough. We're going to try our bread and butter here in the RPO. And we're going to get it to Sambucci. Sambucci with a great block by Kenneth Womack. And we get a first down. And he's going to get it to Buckley, who can't bring it in. That star linebacker, man, he's going to be a tough, tough one to deal with. Handoff to Buckley. Cuts over the middle of the field. Gets a few yards. It's only going to be third and seven, though. We got Bosma on the sideline. It's going to be a first down. Good pickup. We're coming out yet again in an RPO. It's going to be a bubble screen. And we get it to Sambucci. Gets wrapped up immediately. Only a gain of two. Second and eight. And it's read option. Just give it off to Buckley. Buckley over the middle of the field. Brought down at the 38. Big gain for the running back. And it's another handoff to Buckley. Buckley over the middle of the field. Pushes forward to get a gain of two. Another second and eight situation. And we're going to have another RPO situation here. And it's a swing pass to Sambucci. Brings it in for a gain of five. It's going to be third and three. Throw to Womack. And does it bring it in? What are we doing? Coach wants to go for it. And that is what we're going to do. Oh, my goodness. How do we not bring that in? To Michael Bankston coming into the game in the slot. We got trips right. And it's going to be another bubble screen. This time it's the Bankston. And Bankston brings it in for a first down. Good execution by Hayden Wolf. And that right there is going to do it for the first quarter. Your score is 3 0 Miami of Ohio, but the Broncos are driving. Aiden Wolf drops back. It's going to go to Buckley. Big tackle there. It's still a gain of four. Shout out Buckley for holding on to that ball. Another RPO here, and it's going to be a handoff to Buckley. Nowhere to go. A loss of one. It's third and seven. Aiden Wolf coming out in shotgun. And it's Bosma over the middle of the field. What a play! From Miami's linebacker staying on Bosma, and we're going to be forced into a field goal here. The kick is up by Domsk, and the kick is good. We are tied at three. So far, it's a story of two very different offenses. Miami, big chunk plays and fast moving. The Broncos were going pretty slow pace there. It was a long drive, but we got a tie game, and that's what matters. Coming out in spread here. It's going to be a keeper. 
Can't bring him down. Oh, the quarterback is moving. Gets a first down. How can we not keep up with this man? First and 10 from the 28 for the Red Hawks. And it's another screen. Roberson is going to be there and to bring him down. It's only going to be a gain of two. Good play by Roberson. Got movement on the line. It's going to be play action over the middle of the field. And it's going to be a check down. No one's there to stop him. It's going to be a free first down. We had to make sure we covered downfield. That was unfortunate. And it's going to be another RP though. And then we're there to blow it up. No catch. There is Bustle making the play. Jacob Wahlberg seeing the field here. Second and 10 from the 42. Wahlberg there is covering on the slant. What a play from Bilal Cohn. Making it third and 10 here. Bilal Cohn. That was, that was nice. That was huge. And it's another screenplay. And Bustle is there to bring him down. Fourth and six from the 46. And that is going to force a punt. Good job by the Bronco defense. And right off the bat, we're going to be feeding it to our guy. Power hand off to Buckley. And he does not get the blocks he was looking for. Still manages to get a yard out of the play. Hayden Wolf in the shotgun. And Hayden Wolf is going to take off, which is unlike him. Doesn't really get anywhere. It's going to be third and eight. And it's going to be a throw to Buckley over the middle of the field. Brings it in, but it's going to be short. And that's going to force a quick Bronco punt. The punt from Cameron Peasley is a good one. But they get some good blocks here. Big hit. Knocks him out of bounds at the 32. Two minutes and 46 seconds left here in the second. And it's going to be a run here to the outside. Wahlberg can't bring him down. Spins out from the tackle. Finally brought down from behind by Bilal Cone. It's going to be a first. This is likely the last play before the two-minute warning unless it's an incomplete pass, which is possible. And it's a handoff over the middle of the field. Able to bring him down. Takes a big hit. Second and six. And that is going to be the two-minute warning. We got Roberson over the middle of the field. Quarterback out on the run, and it's going to throw it away. Third and six. Oh, we're playing way too far off there. Come on, ball. Time is ticking. A minute 45 left in this game. In empty. It's Gabbert. Good coverage downfield. Throws it deep and out the end zone. Great coverage by the Broncos defense. And it's going to be a quick out. Knocked out of bounds with a gain of six. It's going to be third and four. Big play here for the Broncos defense. Miami operating out of empty. And it's going to be wide open over the middle of the field. Giant hit from Boone Bonima. Oh, my goodness. And time keeps moving. Less than a minute and a half left in this game. Miami up to 22. The new set of downs. Over the middle of the field. It's a good pass. Good find. And another first down. First and goal from the eight. This is where that defensive mentality that we've seen this year has to show up. First and goal from the eight. It has to throw it away before he gets sacked. Good job. Good coverage. Come on, baby. Second and goal from the eight. Fine. And that's a pick from Damari Roberson. What a play. That was the user. That was the user. Let's fucking go. 31 seconds left. Can we get a score? We're going to hit Kenneth Womack before Wolf takes a hit. That's going to be a timeout. First down. All right. We got first and 10 here. And Bosma is open, brings it in. Another timeout. We only got one left. We're going to take a shot. And we get sacked. Last timeout. We're going to see if we can get anything here. It looks like we're just going to run it out, though, according to our offensive coordinator. And that is probably the smart play. Unless Jalen Buckley can do something big, which he's not going to. That's a timeout from Miami. And they're trying to get this ball back. Not a whole lot of time for him. The pump by Peasley is a good one. Big hit from Bonima. They only have six seconds. They got to take a shot. And that is exactly what they're going to do. Set up in a Hail Mary formation. We're in prevent. And I'm just setting Roberson deep. And it's a sack! Donald Willis gets to him. What a big hit. And that's going to end the half. Three to three is your score right now. What is happening? I expected way more of an offensive game, honestly, especially knowing our defense isn't 
it hasn't been the strongest this entire year but today they are showing out for the mac championship guys now it's halftime just want to remind you guys if you've made it this far in the video please leave a like on it if you are enjoying it comment down below any feedback you have for me anything you want me to see anything you want to say to me and if you have nothing to comment just type fta for me for the algorithm the youtube algorithm loves comments and it would help out a ton and if you want to see more of these videos or commanders franchise on madden make sure you guys subscribe to this channel now let's get back to this game and the broncos do get ball here at half we got to get the offense going man our first touchdown of the game could be huge right here and it's jamal haley on the return haley over the middle and it's just going to get wrapped up and it's gonna be a bubble screen to Sambucci. Sambucci out in a lot of space. Look at Anthony Sambucci. And it's Buckley with the handoff out of the shotgun. Buckley over the middle of the field makes one man miss. It's gonna be a gain of six. Second and four here. We're gonna be really paying attention to that comeback route if we can get the time. We throw it with anticipation. Womack brings it in. Wolf was about to get laid out and actually gets a throw down field off. And we're running a draw play. It's B Buckley up the middle. Buckley with a big first down, down at the 14. And the Broncos are moving right now. Six minutes left in the half, in the quarter. We're going to hit Mortimer over the middle of the field quickly. Mortimer into the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos. Now that is what we're talking about. A great, great change of game plan at the beginning of the half. And we are on the board with the touchdown at least we're already on the board but now we got 10 you know and they're taking it out left here and they're only going to get to the 10 yard line Let's see if the defense can get a stop here and it's a keeper and we're there to bring him down gets a gain of one but it was a good play second and nine from the 11 and it is a handoff over the middle does go down it's gonna be third and five from the 15. we're coming out in cover three worried about the hard flats here third and five and it slants over the middle and it's a quick out brought in and down by cone but it's gonna be a big first down handoff here over the middle of the field get some great blocks finally brought down at the 45. miami's moving and it's a run roberson can't bring him down but nelson does eventually and it's gonna be a gain of three we're gonna send some pressure here and it's a handoff again immediately brought down for a loss of one third and eight over the middle of the field and he's gone what a play well we're gonna have a tie game that was that was an insane play unbelievable just a, a lapse i don't even know if that was my zone like it, it was over the middle so it's, it, it is mine but not that deep i didn't think either way 10 10 here in the third and our offense is going to be back on the field we're going to be coming out with our first jet sweep of the game they haven't seen it yet are they going to be ready for it they sure are it looks like they're playing man here we are going to get it to sambucci sambucci out in some space sambucci gets the first down crosses over 50 yards on the game right, if we can get some time here that could be huge it is going to be play action over the middle of the field oh it was almost picked couldn't get it over the middle linebacker there and we throw a deep ball up for mortimer can he bring it in he can't knocked out third and 10 here for the broncos looks like they're gonna be sending some pressure here are we gonna have the time to get this off wait womack has him beat deep downfield for womack womack brings it in down at the 19 what a throw from hayden wolf to michael bankston in the game here we got a bunch of different receivers in the game what happened there and off to buckley is only gonna be a gain of one we cannot get the run game going against this defense we're going to come out another RPO. There are the receivers we know and love. Mortimer back in the game. The bubble screen is going to go to him. And we get it to him. He gets the blocks. Mortimer towards the sideline. First down, down at the eight. And that is going to do it for the third quarter. So we are going to get points here. Pretty much guaranteed. Unless I somehow miss a field goal if we don't get the touchdown. But it's coming down to it at the end of this game. On to the fourth we go. Miami pressing up here. Looks like maybe a mid blitz. And we're going to get it to Sambucci. Sambucci doesn't really get any blocking. Does get a gain of three, though, in the RPO. Sambucci brings it in and gets knocked out of his hands. Oh, no. Third and goal from the five. We're going to come out and mesh. Wolf out on the move. Throw to Womack in the end zone. Brings it in. Hayden Wolf to Kenneth Womack. 
the senior connection is true 17 to 10. oh my goodness i don't go out on the run very much with hayden wolf he does not have the speed like that but he got it done there he had just enough and it is going to be returned selvi is there with help down at the 13 can the defense get a stop here over the middle of the field oh that was a bigger gain than i would have liked gain of five we we're sending all the pressure i might regret this but i don't we're there loss of two third and seven just a great play call man i'll gas myself up and that's just unfortunate just on top in between the zones honestly on top of the middle levels but right in front of the deep ones good route and off and uh we're not there that's a good run that's a very good run shit there we go first and 10 from the 47 about five minutes left in this game and it's gonna be on the quick flat able to knock him down it's still a gain of six miami's moving and it's a handoff and we're there to knock him down just short it's gonna be third and two coming out of man here i'm a little nervous about this but we haven't showed it yet it's a direct snap to the outside and we bring him down forcing a punt Ooh, they tried a little trick play there that didn't work that ain't gonna work on the broncos it's a deep punt haley's not gonna return it into the end zone all right we got four minute drill here just gotta waste some time or, or we could just take a shot here i saw this play and i got excited we're gonna see we're just gonna hit the the okay or no we're not gonna hit the running back over the middle that's un that's unfortunate coming out another rpo kind of went against our plan to let time tick but here we are and it's a throw to sambucci and it's a good one sambucci stays in bounds gets the first down and we're gonna start chewing clock outside handoff to buckley and there are no blockers manages to get a yard and this is gonna be the last play before the two minute warning bubble screen to mortimer is true we get a block out in front and that's gonna be a first down and a big one and that is gonna be the two minute warning miami's gonna have to start using timeout and off to buckley over the middle of the field breaks a tackle falls forward solid run in that situation and miami is run committing we get a power run buckley out in space buckley over the middle of the field buckley down miami uses their second time out and it's gonna be one more inside hand off to buckley buckley over the middle of the field buckley with another big gain of seven that is miami's final time out first down ice is the game fake jet to mortimer and it's a handoff to buckley buckley with a block out in front just short third and one coming out in i form Tuttle in at fullback trying to push us through the handoff to buckley gets a block and that's a first down and that is the game jalen buckley ices it hayden wolf in victory formation the broncos win the mac oh my goodness <laughs> dude what a game 17 to 10 is your final and we are mac champions in year one hayden wolf was the player of the game and honestly it was a great game from hayden wolf did not turn the ball over very good game manager today and he got made plays when we needed to jalen buckley did the job especially at the end of the game we'll go over the stats here in a sec but what a game for the mac championship and look at that we're posing with the trophy it's beautiful final stats hayden wolf was 19 for 26 223 yards and two touchdowns great clean game buckley 16 for 82 didn't really get any other runs off with many other people receiving the ball anthony sambucci seven for 68 kenneth womack four for 92 and a touchdown devon mortimer three for 35 and a touchdown buckley was two for eight bosmo was two for 16 and jamichael bankston was one for four defensively the tackles leaders were deshaun bustle and boone bonima with eight tackles for loss two for donald willis and Corey walker a sack for donald willis an interception in the end zone for damari roberson and that's really where this game went our way deshaun bustle and ball coming with pass deflections no fumbles on the day just a clean game all the way around and there it is the mac championship we are back champions all we got left is our bowl game but i'd say this is a very successful year one if you guys enjoyed this leave a like and we'll see you guys for the bowl game